Games, sports, games, sports, games, for the sports, games, 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 sports, and if you are watching this after the fact, and just to let you know, we are going to be playing a couple of games. First, we're going to be playing Balanceable, or Balanceable, which is, um, yeah, how should we write it? We're not sure. And it's all about having letters that start off in the middle. This is a couple of games that I played before. You underline your letter to make sure that you know where you started, and then you're trying to work out both ways. So here, I had nine letters this side, nine letters this side, this line scores nine, three letters this side, one letter this side, this line only scores one. And also you get points in addition for your longer word. So it's sort of like a two-dimensional version of Mini Muckle. Yeah, pretty much. It's Muckle's very similar. Balance and the this is... one you are going both ways, trying to balance the left and right. And what the we've first all... dimensional would be like? <laughs> oh, that would be crazy. And then we're going to play Q for You, which is a game wherein you're working on letters, you answer questions like, what's the best thing to have on holiday? Or who's your favourite person to take? We'll go through that, and that's a bit more of a party game, a bit more of a freeform thing. And... But first of all, I do want to announce that there is a competition again. Um, I just realised I forgot to put bring one of the games into my room. So Chris, Tom, Jason, hello and welcome. And I am Bez, obviously. People can see us. And Are if you, you could um, <laughs> say one nice thing that's happened recently. Uh, start with Chris, I think. Um... Yeah, I have done uh, a fair bit of playtesting on a game that I'm entering into a contest. And I've also been learning how to use uh, some of the virtual playtesting tools that are available so I can get playtesters from around the world, I guess. Um, there's, a, there's a whole big world out there beyond Tabletop Simulator. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm working to see, I'm playing with a couple and experimenting with a couple that can be played in a browser. So all you have to do is load up your browser, and you can begin, you know, playing game with anyone else in the world. Nice, awesome, yeah. Very apt for this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's necessary to, to really get playtesting going. And Tom. yourself, Tom? Uh, well, yeah, I've been. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I helped someone out with some playtesting of. Uh, a game on Tabletopia the other day, um, Tabletop Simulator a uh, week before that. They were both a bit fiddly, so half the learning is learning how to use the things, yeah. But it's, it's definitely um, sort of expanding my horizons a bit. But the thing I'm happy about at the moment is blueberry muffins. Yeah, blueberry mm. muffins. I think yummy. I saw a picture of these. They look very good. They were, they were very nice. They've all gone. All gone. Jason. We tried blueberry muffins with a spread of jam or marmalade on Ooh. them. Happy, there's still blueberry muffins apparently. They're I tried something with like marmalade on them. Congratulations, <laughs> and hello, Polly. And if anyone um, has anything, uh, what were the anything else to chip in in the comments, if you're watching um, and you want to share something that you've recently been enjoying, it's been a bit since Tuesday. Um, Sorry, we can't send blueberry muffins. Yeah, Wednesday was a, was a. <laughs> I tell you what, to email it's a bit lazy. Muffins. I spent all day yesterday playing Minecraft. <laughs> hmm. That was fun. <laughs> Sometimes that's just what you have to do. Started, yeah, you know, gathering quartz, build, started expanding my bit of land, and um, I finally have an idea for a bit of land rather than just a hut. <laughs> um, but, um, I've had the motivation to do work, which is pretty positive for today. That's uh, did some work this morning, awesome. admin. Mm, um, motivation's great quite weird to have that motivation back again <laughs> but, uh, Good. um like i guess i'm happy about um yeah been playing games and oh i did cook some chicken does I'm, anyone have any plans for the weekends uh, play testing so oh, play testing, um, that's too far in the future let's not worry about <laughs> that right now 
Let's just focus on what yeah. we're doing right now. And it is competition time. I mean, I'm hoping to have like. Um, and actually, I like so competition time. You can win either in a bind junior or on the cards, or if you live in the no barbecue this week, can also uh, um, have the Lords of Rock. So, um, sorry, that's my my uh, step grandmother. Um, what? No, um, competition it's, it's time, my birthday next week, so I get I get to uh, find all the. Uh, I get to uh, make a list of treats. I've decided I want a lot of deviled eggs because I haven't had those in years. That sounds awesome. But Jason, it's competition time. Oh, sorry. You didn't appear on my screen for a long time. <laughs> didn't mean to talk across you. So it's you can win in a bind junior, which is uh, like in a bind or yogi, but there's uh, lots of cards that aren't in the new version of yogi on the cards, which is all about trick taking. Or you can win a second hand copy these two are brand new or this game which is the lords of rock i will only send this one within the uk because it's quite heavy um and it's a really weird game where you've got gods that's it's like a battle of the bands but with all the band members being gods and it's a interesting game of just card play and it's not my favorite game but there's just Lots of fun to be fun pictures, but these two are the ones that I would personally go for. If you want to win the competition, what I want to say is go to my Kickstarter page and tell me what were the four things that people were allowed to vote between. So tell me the pictures. You just write down one of them, write down one of the pictures that people were able to choose between in the latest update and i will shoot through the email in a minute so boop, boop, boop. um oh and sorry michelle i didn't see you there we've got michelle joining us thank you very much uh, and michelle is go. thankful for <laughs> someone just baking banana bread that sounds mm. awesome speaking of bananas for lunch slash um breakfast um i had pre previously i've been having bananas mixed with eggs into little pancakes today i just put the whole thing into the pan mixed it all together so it was like banana scrambled eggs but that was really nice surely lunch slash breakfast is brunch yeah but it was pretty late right okay so lunch then. we discovered a, a hitherto und undiscovered uh, meal the other day because uh, thanks to a video conference with someone in Australia, we were having lunch, which is a corporate cop uh, combining supper and lunch. Because they were having supper, we were having lunch. So, huh. so we had the world's first lunch. That sounds <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I mean, this is what happens these days. Oh, I should mention that I've decided that I'm going to have morning thing shows as of tomorrow, 10 a.m. every day. I'm going to just do a morning thing for the better part of an hour. My good friend Jess has joined me because sometimes you need to have a bit of routine in the morning. Do you know what I mean? And for anyone watching the US, that will probably be a terrible time. But if in the, you're in the UK and you don't have anything better to do around 10 a.m., then why not listen in? That's the thing you can do. But um, if anyone has any questions about the competition, let us know. Otherwise, we're going to go to this game, which is called Balanceable, but we're not sure how to spell it. So if you have any ideas, feel free to ask us to tell us in the comments. Sorry, that way, the comments. But um, that's not the competition. You're not obliged to. But yeah, um, Balanceable. So what is Balanceable all about? Balanceable is another word game in the L deck, as I was saying. You start off in the middle. You start off with two letters in the middle of your sheet of paper on top of each other in two lines. So here we had the N and the I that I started off with. And we grew left and we grew right. And then at the end of the game, you draw a little square around any word. Sorry, I should show you this one because we've changed the rules slightly. Two letters minimum per word. And you also get your biggest word. So here... Bez scored, I had 
three letters on this side of this A. It's T, cat, ox, we, tan, brains, and nerdy. And then this was gobbledygook, so I scrubbed out the D. And so if I... So here I had to let three letters to this side, three letters to this side makes it three, four, this line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven makes seven points. So three plus seven plus my longest word. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Three, seven, and six makes 16. And that is an overview of that game. Hopefully that makes some sense. Oh, Michelle's she asking does. me to enlarge my screen. Thank you, Michelle. And yes, Michelle, that is one of the possible answers. So you are officially entered in the competition. Thank you very much. And Good choice. Um, <laughs> I am going to say that there is a clear winner. And that is not the one that it has been the most popular. Although there is hopefully going to be another sticker. So we'll see what happens with that. Anyway. Um, so it, everyone should be familiar with the L deck. Two letters on each card. I will guide you through the game. This is quite a quick one. So we'll play it a couple of times. And all you need is a sheet of paper. And I will show my thing as I go along. Just to keep you on track. So, a sheet of paper and something to write with. That's literally all you need. Yay! I hope you have something as well there, Michelle. Okay, so, what you need to do is, from these two cards, starting off the game, you need to pick one of these two, O or C, and one of these two, T or M. Remember that these are going to be in the middle of your line at the end of the game, ideally. So you're going to make words both backwards and forwards. So what you should do is pick two of these letters. You can, um, one from this card, one from this card. So you can't have O and C, for example. But I'm going to go with that. And my choices my are O and T, which I put in the middle of my paper and underline them. The underlining is important okay. because, yeah. And All done. Michelle says that, I think Michelle is saying that the musician was their favorite. And I'm sorry that it's not happening, but maybe that's all. So now, one at a time, I'm going to draw cards, A or M. And you put it to the left of the top line, to the right of the top line, to the left of the bottom line, or to the right of the bottom line. So each time you have four possible options. So, we so, choose so can we one choose one letter or two letters? One letter. So for example, I have done M and put it to the left of my top line to make M-O, which might start a bunch of words. And also, Mo itself is a word. Short for moustache. It's in the Collins Whoa. English Dictionary. I checked. <laughs> R or L? Hmm. And you put this again on the left or right of either line. So I'm all right. If a word is hor um, vertical, but not, you don't have it one horizontal. Oh, no, you, ignore, you are not making any vertical words. It's only words horizontally. The two ah, lines are right. completely independent. Right, OK. And at some point, you might have to... Are proper nouns allowed? Proper nouns are not allowed. It's yes, anything so. that's in the Collins English Dictionary, but not proper nouns. So no, no names of people, places, or companies. And can words run into each other? They can adjust, but they cannot share letters. So the last letter of a word cannot be the first or whatever letter of another okay, word. It's good to know. N or B... Can we ignore letters? You can. You right. definitely can. Mm. All right. Not that I necessarily am. I'm not sure. And James, I see there. I'll add you in a minute. A or P. Hmm. So just to show how I'm doing, I've got 
MOL at the top, which could be Mo or something else. Ant and then N something. Oh, that's very sweet. Oh. I no, or Q. Don't like that card. <laughs> Are abbreviations allowed? For example, like I'm instead of I am. It sits in the Collins English Dictionary. You are allowed to check yourself. Next card is S or D. You are allowed to check one word per turn is normally what I suggest. But if you have time to check multiple words, just go for it. S oh, or D. I'm just going to check that, that. And then... E or L? Hmm. Yes, it is. Excellent. So I'm gonna E or L. Two. Okay. Uh, yeah. N or U? R or B? E or W. Whoa. It's important to take advantage of those vowels when you get them. Uh... And we're down to 10 cards after this one. E <laughs> or W. I think I've got this one up. Hang on, just checking a word here. This one okay. is O or U. Hmm. And hmm. this is where you probably want to start balancing your lines. So I, you still don't have to establish what exactly the words are. So this could have been mold or old, but at this point it's clearly mold. And... You want to start thinking, how many letters do I have to this side? How many letters do I have to this side? And make sure to balance it. That is literally the name of the game. Balanceable. S or C? Okay. T or H? All right. E or Y. And we've only got six cards left. If we don't balance, do we score nothing or do we just score the le least? You score the least. Right. Yeah. I'm, so it's I'm not gonna... like... Um... This is not a good game for me, for my brain, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> R or H? How many cards did you say we got left? Um, right now we have five after this. Ooh, okay. Skipping that one. I or C? Okay, yeah, I can use that. I or C. Um, okay. O or D? All right. One more good consonant here. There's three cards left. I or Y? Say a good consonant here. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah, that's good. We've S or X? Okay. Hmm. And T or D? T or D? Oh, darn. Ooh, is that a word? I might just have to look something up. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh. Okay. So now what do you do? That's fine. That's fine. You should have um, some two lines of words, and you're going to draw squares what? around the words that you've got. So in my example, I on the top, I've got it, N, like an N dash, moldy, and oi. And on the bottom, I've got... So, rant and nil, and the rest of it is just gobbledygook, which is quite sad for me. Oh, and um, so I looking at right. the um line number of letters on either side, here I've got um one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, so the lowest is five. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, so the lowest is three. And finally, my longest word is moldy. One, two, three, four, five. For a total of 13 points for what me. What happens if you haven't balanced it? So, for example, well, in I go this to example, 11. I got one, two, three on this side. One, two, three, four, five on this side. So that's why it's the lowest number. Does that make sense? I, I, not really. Can you help, help me maybe? Absolutely. Balance? So that is actually a word. It's it's um, it's the English word for a consonant in in the ancient in Greek alphabet. Kai. Okay. Deca. Z. C. Deca is actually the denotation that means ten, mm -hmm. as in dodecahedron is a word in itself. I've checked on on Collins, head and blonde because it makes and map. But okay. I, so for the top, your starting letter was O, I guess. So you've yes. got two on one side, which, and, oh, and she, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So the top line scores three points because the smallest number of letters to get from the middle to the end is three. Does that make sense, Jason? Possibly. Yes, I think so. So the top line scores three points. Okay. Now, if you um, present it, so um, from the M, you went one, two, Three, four, Sorry. five on the right side, and one, two, three, four on the left side. So that's four points for the bottom. That's just the non gibberish letters, is it? Correct. Right. So okay. you kind of ignore all the gobbledygook. Okay. So that was four for the bottom. Four for the bottom. And then you also score six because your longest word was six long for blonde, okay. B L O N D E. Which means three plus four plus six. You also score thirteen points. Oh, that's actually easier than I thought it was. And so, Tom. So I started with TO in the middle, and I reckon my top line is six on each side, and my bottom line is five on each side. So we've got very uh, nice it, ratios and hid. T, nice. T, which I think is a musical note. Historically, so far, it's definitely um, a thing. Uh, we the, and the, yeah, music. Yeah. The tonic so far, the syllable used for the seventh note of the subtonic of any scale. Yeah. So that's six for that's the top line, the music, five for the bottom line, and seven makes 18. That's really nice. Wow. Michelle scored 13, so that's no nothing to be ashamed of. Myself and Jason scored that as Half well. Half an alphabet. Half and an alphabet. Chris, what did you get? Oh. Cool. ABBA. Me and need? What does er, ABBA mean? Was, unfortunately, not a word. That's a good question. I'm glad you asked here. I'll look it up real quick here. I'm looking up. Um, it's a, it does exist in the Collins English Dictionary. It means a type of cloth from Syria made of goat hair or camel hair or a sleeveless outer garment of such cloth. Sleeveless garment worn by Arabs. Gosh, it's educational, this, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, no, I well, I was going for, I was going to go, do, I was going to to reuse the, I was going to, to make some different words here, but uh, didn't quite get the letters I was looking for there. So three for the top row, four for the bottom row, four points for the longest word, eleven points total. Okay, so congratulations oh. to Tom. Nice job, Tom. And we've got a new challenger. 
I see that James, sorry you've been thinking the sidelines. How are you today? Yeah, I'm well, good, maybe thank we you. shouldn't thank ask that, but I hope that you've been able to do at least one thing that makes you smile. Um, apart from joining this call, you mean? That's made me smile. Um, I might have seen you making tonight, a lot I? of jokes on your WhatsApp group that you've got a little WhatsApp group for your friends and you um, for the. It's mainly for people in Essex, but you invited me, even though I'm not an Essex local, which was. Oh quite no, nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's friends from Essex and London. Yeah, I mean we're. Uh, from you know the sort of socials and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's good. And making a few jokes and some of the puns, I was very impressed with. And if you want to throw in some puns, don't worry, I will not be appalled. Well, I would say good, good me evening. <laughs> <laughs> Those well, it's lovely characters. to catch you, and you're a lovely person to see. Oh, it's just oh. I just don't want to say to that, but you, 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 you pun me out. I'm, I'm not very good on the spot. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to play Balanceable one more time, now that hopefully everyone understands how it's played. And did you manage to follow along at the end there, James? Um, to be honest with you, no, not really. Um, I found Balanceable a little bit hard when I first played it, but well, it's changed to something a little moving. bit. So yeah. what we're doing is it's the try to get the top line to be as balanced as you can. So here I had one, two, three, four, five on that side. One, two, three, four, five on that side, which is why I scored five. Here I had one, two, three, four, five on this side and one, two, three on this side, which is why I scored three. And my longest word is one, two, three, four, five, which gave me a bonus five for 13 points. Can words and overlap? Words cannot no. overlap. No. And so let's start a second game of that, and then oh. we will move on. So just just two rows, isn't it? Yep. I or Y and O or D. I or um, Okay. Bez, can you make yourself bigger again? Oh, of course. Thank you. Welcome. All right. We just choose one letter from the two cards, yeah? yeah yes. So and so you write down your two letters. One and letter you from each card. Them. One letter from okay. each card and you underline them. I chose I and O, but you could choose whatever you want. It's a shame you're not counting it vertically because that's actually, although that's technically a name because it's the name of one of, uh, Ju I want to say either Jupiter's or Saturn's planets. I think it's Saturn. I think yeah. that Eel. might be uh, Moon, no, no. Saturn Moon, yeah. yeah. Saturn, yeah. Isn't that slow rather than Io? There is a low. I mean, so so now moons. we're going to get going, and you need to put in an I or a C on either side of your line, one of your lines. So there's four possible positions. All right. Next card, A or W. That's awful. Yeah, I don't like that <laughs> T or D. I hope that. this touches your tender hearts. <sighs> T or H. I put a check something. This is the card for you, maybe. We've got E or Y. All right. Not good for me either. You are allowed to skip letters, but then you lose potential points. Hmm. T or okay. M. It's not copyright. Or trademarked. Well. Oh. C. This is the card with O or C. Uh, okay. R or L. All right. Uh, R or H. 
do you that's rubbish do you mind so they're called vowels right they're called vowels they're they're in this game right Just i blame you chris last, last, make sure. last, last game you, you were saying we need more consonants n or z <laughs> no thank you <laughs> have an o please S or X? <laughs> Maybe not. We're talking about vowels. <laughs> Make the vowels come out. R or B? <laughs> <laughs> this is rubbish. Uh... Okay, I'm just going to count up the cards to see how many are left. And we have Ooh, exactly well, 10 left. I or Q? <laughs> It's better. Hey, look, a vowel. Finally, oh, it's not a good one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, another vowel. That's kind of hard to use, actually. S or C. All right. E oh, or L. Okay. Yay. Six cards remaining. When I've got words, how do I separate them out? Oh, you just do that at the end. N yeah, or B, so, so, so can... note this one well. So just now, you should just have a whole bunch of letters. You don't worry about separating it into words. That comes at the end. Yeah. Sorry, but what was that last card? N or B, I ask you to note it well. Okay, thank you. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, let's not be too slow. It's A or P. I have both of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice try. E or Ew. W. Ew, no thank you. That's just disgusting. <laughs> Uh, do I? Mm. A or wow. M? I think, therefore. A or M? I don't understand this game, how it's supposed to work. So you've got to write one of these two letters on the left or right of one of your two. No, lines. I understand the concept of how you, the mechanics of it, but I don't understand how you're supposed to get words out of it. Okay. I'm just getting a load of rubbish. S or D. Okay. And this is the penultimate card, just to warn everyone. And we finally got N or U. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to use that. that. I'm too... Oh. <laughs> no. So now is the time when you might want to start um, taking a moment to separate all your things into little boxes for all the different words. And oh dear. That's so really what card? Two letters minimum. That's what was that last card? The very last card was N or U. N or U. Okay. Thank you. And I will go over my... So the last card I did not use, but I used everything else. So I had Pi, Right, Wad, Earn, Rot, Coats, and Sen. So doing the lines, I've got 1, 2, 3 to this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on that side. That's not very efficient. I score 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And my longest word is five coats. One, two, three, four, five. For five points, that gives me 11. Okay. So, no, sorry. Not 11, 14. I think, uh, sorry, I think 14. I that so was me going this... live during terrible maths. Um, I can't see my because of the lighting. That's awful. So I've got um, a bad lighting, that's for sure. Sin, high, 
I've seen hide, chop, and then this row was not so good because I've got sat and wit, but it's from that eye, and I couldn't get anything <laughs> that oh. way. So it's one, and uh, what's the smallest one there? I think. Hang on. Oh, yeah. So definitely a one, um, and a. Uh, so from D, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So five even on the top. Um, nice. And your longest, longest word is four? Is, four uh, is hide. So it's uh, not a very good ten. <laughs> but I knew what I was doing that game more than I did the last game. Oh, and Michelle good. scored the same as me, apparently, again. Fourteen. Congratulations, Michelle. If... Uh, Bez, can you help me out with mine? Yeah, sure. So you've got so, my AL is I've not a word, right? Chairs, and that's surrounded by AL and oh, SQBN, which I think is just rubbish letters, isn't it? And okay. then the bottom row, I've got saw for free, cur for free, ho, two letters, I'd. Oh, you and... need to show it because the key part is how far is the initial starting letter from the edge. <laughs> So, in this yeah. example, AL, it, I'm going to check if AL is a word for you. Um, I, think, I think it's just rubbish letters, isn't it? Can someone else check? Oh, no. Uh, it's a prefix. But AL not, is uh, not a word. No. So, you've got chairs and the rest is rubbish. So, on the top, you get two because the RS is the shortest distance from the I to the end. So that's two points for your top. I get then, two points for a six-letter word. Blimey. Well, you also get six points for it later on. Oh, um, you be? So on the bottom, you've got saw, cur, ho, and eyed. Is eyed? Yeah, like the eyes of. March. And so that's three le three letters is three distance from the middle to the outside. So two for the top line. Three for the bottom line and six points for the longest word makes 11 points. Apparently, I did another word for off. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. No idea so, off means. really, um, James, you wanted to have more words going to the right because your left going left, you actually made more. You need to balance it because that is the name of the game. Well, I'm sorry, but there wasn't any, any good letters to the right hand side. The, there was the a good lot letters of came out. Bad letters coming out. Lots of bad well, letters. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, like, what did you earlier. get, Tom? Uh, is near allowed? As in near do well? Well, I will look it up. Um, uh, sure. Yes, it is completely fine. Okay. In that oh. case, I've got uh, near with and fifth on the top. Okay. And uh, random M. Then orchid M. <sighs> nice. E -M, orchid. And bad. And so what happens if you get gobbledygook in between two words? Oh, that's fine. Just ignore yeah. You Does can't have gobbledygook in the middle of a word, but you can have gobbledygook in the, between two oh, words, oh, and you just in ignore in the, the gobbledygook. I'm ignoring right. that random end. So I reckon yeah. that's five on that side, and five on that side, and then five on that side, and five on that side. Very nice. And you've got R C H I D, so that's five, five, and six for yeah. 16. I think so. And Chris, what did you get? Well, I tried here. Uh, did was doing pretty well with the start there. Uh, me, Sai, Cow, Et, Ho. So five letters on five points from the top. What does Et mean? It's good in Latin. Uh... It's Latin. Dude. Et. The more, the, more, the more Scrabble you play, the more familiar you get with all the fun two-letter words. In I was going to go... Yeah, at Al. I was going uh, to. I was trying to do something else with um, with uh, act here, but then I realized uh, keeping titles would score more points, so I kept that. And as far as I can tell, I'm on five points for the top row, one point for the bottom row, six points for the longest word for a total of twelve. Nice. It is and in Latin or eleven. And it's better than nine or eight, also. So no one, everyone scored double digits at least. 
So, yeah, yeah. Well, again, Tom won. So I think we can applaud Tom, who's clearly the overall yeah. champion of this game. Congratulations, Tom. Congrats, I'm and congratulations, Michelle, and thank you for playing along. Now, we are going to play the second game, which is... So that one was a bit of a new one. Um, if you've got any comments about that one, please let me know. If you think that... Um, yeah, I know your comments, James, is that you just found it a bit frustrating and difficult to make words. I think, yeah, I think I found it hard to make any words. That's fair. It's very tricky because, um, especially if you struggle with, with English or any language um, with Latin alphabet, it, to think in two directions and oh, t t times two, it just kind of, you have to be pretty on board. You have to be a good like Scrabble player or, to, to be able to really see it. Um, I struggled, especially with the speed of the cards coming up. Hmm. So by the time I figured out what I, where I was going to place it, the card was gone, and the next one was nearly gone already. I was like, okay. I mean, it's possible that we should allow some wild cards like we do for Mini Muckle, and just say, you know what, um, Tom doesn't need any wild cards, but <laughs> hey, everybody else can have one, two, or three wild cards just to give you a little bit of a boost. I don't know. Yeah, may maybe the um, rather than a, um, an obligation for the winner, like in Wibble, the the people, the last, depending on the numbers of players, the, the least number of few points gets um, gets a, um, Some wild a, cards a wild for card the for the next round to kind of give them more of an even platform for the next people. Yeah. Or it could be that everyone starts with three wild cards and then, although having said that, I think Tom basically managed to balance it out almost oh, perfectly both of times. But yeah. yeah, it could be just that you start with three, and each time you win, you lose a wild card. But yeah. let's Allow. quickly get rid of that banner. And um, I see there's someone else watching. So for the competition, what you need to do is go to the link that I just pasted into the comments and let me know the name of one of the cards. That in the latest Kickstarter update, I asked people to choose between. So just to um, show what's going on, I am running a Kickstarter currently, and the things that we had. Oh, why am I not seeing this? Sorry for oh, the catalog. So on we my had screen. catalog, the cat ass trophy, the catchier, as opposed to the catchiest. Or, and then we had catch and the pyramid scheme and pyramid finally scheme. the cat's burglist. So those were the initial six pictures and mm -hmm. with those ones um, those, there's going to be two copies of each and now we had 150 something sticker packs pledged for which is awesome and so there's going to be another one and let me know which one of the four that was mentioned in the latest updates that people were choosing between. And if you do that, someone will be chosen to win either a brand new copy of Inabine Jr., which is um, the best party game of physical constraints remade for four to eight year olds. It's exactly like Yogi, which this one came before and it's got unique cards. We've got On the Cards, which is a um, trick taking game, kind of fragmented turned up and it's almost like a postmodern take on the whole thing it's really crazy it's awesome like that, that the only reason that i'm giving that one away is because that's a brand new copy i've also got my own personal copy and lords of rock um honestly this is because i've got like 300 games and i want to start giving some of them away so this is one that i played myself i've opened it it's all right it's not one of my favorites honestly but look it's up on board game geek it's got a really nice theme there's gods battle of the bands type thing if that sounds like fun, if you just want to see a lot of really nice pictures of gods who are dressed up. So you've got um, the Cthulhu gods like that. And yeah, these are the Cthulhu gods. That, that's a kind of artwork. It's quite fun. 
I mean, personally, if I wanted to go look at good looking gods, or um, I would just look at Greek mythology. Hmm. I mean, they've got gods from all sorts of mythologies here: Greek, Norse, Aztec. But anyway, that is the competition, and that ends the second competition time. So, if anyone else wants to. That's it. And competition time is going to last until the end of this when we all choose from people. Now it's Q for You! Q for You is a game that a friend of mine made. Q for You! I can't think of something to rhyme with made. I don't have my hair in braids. Q for You! So Q for you is made by Isaac Shalev, which is I called him a friend. I've, we are Facebook friends, and we've never actually met each other. They um, moonlight on that on board games podcast, and they co-wrote a book with Jeff Engelstein. That's basically the big academic book of game mechanisms. They're really smart, and this is a game that they made where it's kind of a party word game, and if you are able to, like. Follow the link that I had in the description and print out page 10. If you can't do that, then what you need to do is write the letters A through to Z on the top of a bit of paper. So get a bit of paper, a new bit of paper maybe, or a bit of space. You're going to have six lines for words, and beside it you'll be writing little um, points. Sorry, I forgot to do so write a, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That's literally what you've got to do. And Jason has written also a grid of 6 by 15, but that's not essential. The that's just so I can see where my letters are. <laughs> is that you write the entire alphabet, and during the course of six rounds, we are going to try to use all the letters in the alphabet, if we can. For so every you, letter that you... Can I make your screen bigger, please? Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I do apologise. I should always I do see. that. Can you see it now? Yep. So what's on the second row? So the important thing is this bit, which is the alphabet. So write down the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. After yeah. that, the what you write... Well, you don't have to write this, but on this sheet of paper, it just reminds you... That's if you've got one, two, three, four, five, or six lines, then you can have up to 15 letters on each one. So you're going to give let. So I might ask you, what do you like to wear? And I might say, white and red vest. White and red vest. That's exactly 15 letters. That's lucky because 15 letters is the maximum number of letters you can use. If I had written white and red vest, then I would cross off all the letters I had used. So I'd cross off the W, H, I, T, E, A, N, D, R, E, D, V, E, S, T. And you're trying to do that during the course of the game. And finally, I would score 15 points because I made an answer scoring 15 points. As long as everyone else agrees that it's valid word. But there's three ways that you can go wrong. So, firstly, if your answer is less than seven letters wrong, that's a foul. Secondly, if your answer is the longest one that anyone has, that's a foul. Thirdly, if people decide that that's not a real answer, like let's say I said I like to wear pizza top and I... I wrote, I like to wear pizza top. People would say, well, is that a legitimate answer? And you'd probably vote no. Bez does not like to wear pizza top. Whatever a pizza top is. I guess that's the cardboard bot, the top of the pizza. I don't or a know. top with pizzas on it. Oh, yeah. A pizza top. That makes sense. As opposed to a dinosaur top. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. But then you'd say, hey, Bez, I've never seen you wear a pizza top. That's not allowed. So then I, that would also be a foul. And if either of those things happen... You do not score the number of letters that were in your word. And you do not get to cross off everything. Instead, you just get to cross off three letters from the big alphabet. Does that make sense? Uh, I don't okay. understand the alphabet connection. So at the end of the game, we're going to play six rounds. 
at the end of six rounds, you will try during the course of six rounds, you'll try to use all 26 of the letters if you can. Okay. So Only remember once or I did it a number of times. Well, at least once. If you do it a second okay. time, you don't get any bonus. Okay, so you're trying to cross all the alphabet letters. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you're trying to make your word use... seven letters long. If you make it a little bit longer than seven letters, you get even more points. But if you are the longest, then you get almost nothing. You get to cross all three letters. What if two people get the same length of, say, 15 letters, for example? So if two people are the same, and this is slightly different to the written rules, um... So if two people are the same, then they both get penalised. Oh, gosh. Oh, so if, if you ever do 15 letters, you're definitely going to get penalised. Because no one can do longer. That's actually... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's let's go that with the original like rules in, in that the, case. In the rules, then. Let's the original rules, then. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So if there's a tie, no one gets penalised. So 15 letters, you might not get penalised. But you as probably will. Yeah. So if two people get 15 letters, then neither of them get penalised. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're going to... I'm going, I've got all the cards here. You're what, going to choose to me. So you say that again, Tom? What bonus do you get for having crossed off letters? Oh, it's two points per letter. At the end of the game. Yes. Thank you, Chris. So, I'm going to scribble through this. And the question is, what superpower do you wish you had? Now, everybody has to write down on their bits of power, on their bits of paper, what superpower they wish they had. Oh, and there should be a one-minute timer. Which, uh, if I can make it go. Oh, I had a thing. This is. If... So, can we go? Yeah, well, you've got your thinking time anyway. Um... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I think I spelled oh, that here right. we go. Are we allowed so, to check spelling? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's just start the 60 second timer right now. Tell me how this sounds. Like hold music. <laughs> Please That's... turn that off. <laughs> Fifteen seconds of that. Come on, jolly. Okay. That's awful. I've got that my answer. <laughs> We've had a bit of time to think about it. We're getting to the end. Can I mute you? <laughs> so, what superpower do you wish you had? It has to be at least seven letters long to get points. It definitely cannot be more than 15 letters, and you want to try to use the obscure letters if you can. Yeah, I failed on that. <laughs> I'm going to get them later on, it's fine. No, the sound I... is terrible. Okay. So that is the end. Now, everyone, including Michelle, please reveal your answers. So my answer was vanishing. Chris? X-ray vision. That was a good one. Shape-shifting. Teleportation. Oh, good. James, could you I say I thought about yours? teleportation. Invisibility. Oh, invisibility. Ooh, so, mine is less. nine letters long. How long is everyone else's? Thirteen. Thirteen. Ten. Twelve. Oh, Thank you, Jason. <laughs> and... <laughs> so, the longest was 13, and because two people managed to get 13, that means that no one gets the... Um, and Matt, Michelle had teleporting. And Michelle went with teleporting. So, I think that all of them are legitimate superpowers that you might wish you had. 
and I don't think we need to, um, you know, challenge any of them. No one, no one gets to take off their alphabet. No, everyone gets to. But we just had two thirteens. Yep. If it was one thirteen, one longest, they wouldn't. But because we oh, were right. both longest, then we can. So we help, <sighs> helped each other there. Right. I think I get this. I think. <laughs> okay. So I scribbled off all the letters on my alphabet. I um, let me make me bigger again. So vanishing, I scribbled off the V A N I S H. I'd already scribbled off the I, so I didn't do anything there. And I'd already scribbled off the N, and then I scored another G. And I scored nine points for that round. Nice. So the longer a thing you do, the more points you get. Now we're on to round two. If you're just joining, that's totally okay. What you've got to try and do is write an answer. Wait, to this what do you question. get points for? Sorry, you get points for you get points your letters. For the length of the answer, okay. and two points for each letter you manage to scribble off at the, at end, the of end of the game. Okay. So, with each of your letters that you've used, um, have the alphabet at the top. Cross off the letters, um, but you can cross them off at the end. To be honest, but vanishing okay. is nine letters long, so I score nine points. Okay. Now. The next card we're going to look at, if I bring up, sorry, too many windows, too many windows. Have you got 150 you windows a, open? You should be in a conservatory. <laughs> uh. Okay, so the next one is, it's a snowy day. What do you do? What? That's too short Start an thinking. answer for me. No day, what do you do? I've heard worse. <laughs> I mean, you can me. give me oh, a 60 second. Oh, I should say, so that is a music that is um, copy. It's um, what I searched for open um, source creative. Co so it's creative called Commons. New Seasons by Aaron Salomon. So that's a thing. But Jason, if you want to donate a 60 second soundbite for future timings, feel free to do so. I will see what I've got. <laughs> so I said that's on a hot day. I will not eat escape. a pizza. <laughs> Michelle oh. said snowball fight. What did you say, Chris? I said make a snowball. Ooh. Tom? I am staying inside. Watch television. I did write oh, that. That sounds quite long. It is, it is quite long, yes. Yeah, um, I was also quite long. Snuggling quilt. Ooh. Ooh. James. Um, I'm going to make a quiche because I'm hungry. Make a quiche. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> so my one was nine letters Sorry, long again. That, that's not possible. <laughs> Quiches are summer right. food and everyone knows that. <laughs> that's why I want to make one in this winter because it's like, like cheer up a little bit. I mean, I would accept that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. are you actually challenging that, Jason? No, I was joking. I can imagine okay. making it. <laughs> there you go. So, um, kind of ice cream when it's cold. And Tom, it's how hot, long was yours? Uh, mine was 15 letters long. <sighs> Ooh, how 13. long was yours, Jason? 14. So, Tom, yours was the longest. And you know what that means? You do not score your 15 points because... Oh, no. Tiny bit greedy, 
And oh. you get to cross off three of the letters that you used. Okay. In your alphabet. So potentially you might still score six points from as a result of this round. Conversely, everyone yep. is getting to score as many points as the length of their thing. Mine is nine. And you cross off every letter that you've used if you haven't already used it. Oh, I've actually got... Q. I was really quite happy about that. So now, is everyone ready for the third round? Sure. <laughs> what are you most proud of? I mean, these questions can, some of them are quite. What are you most proud of? Damn, that's hard. Um. <laughs> Sorry, that was unusually evil. Yay! And I have written that I am most proud of a quick game, Yogi. All right. Gonna go with my first quiz win. Oh! Tom. Uh, I'm gonna go with building a shed. Ooh. Oh, that reminds me of, of, an, of a game I used to play at a theatre club I, I was at called uh, Do You Want to Build a Shed? And we, was, it was a, <laughs> we all signed, um, what are you doing? Building a shed. Can I help? <laughs> yes. And then you have to kind of pick an, emo an emotion to build the shed as, which is really quite weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, Michelle is making pastry. Yep. Nice. Jason? A violin score. Violin score. Oh, yes, Ooh, because of course Jason nice. is a composer. And James, we seem to have lost you. I don't know if you can still hear us. But... I can hear you. Oh, okay. we can't see you. Could you open the app again? I don't know if you've got it minimized or something. Oh. oh. We've lost Jason, James completely. Oh, okay, no. we're going to have to ignore James okay, for this round, quiet. sadly. Technical issues. So who... Oh, there's James again. There, okay. we see you again. Okay. Sorry, yeah. James, what was your answer? A wizard's flag. A wizard's flag. Okay, so how long right. was everyone's right. answer? Because mine was quite <laughs> long. I went for 13. James, oh, 12. Proud of, most proud of a 11. wizard's flag. Okay. Yeah, actually, I'm going to challenge that as well. I'm going to challenge that. How are you proud of a wizard's flag? Have you ever got a flag from Wizard before? It's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty real. Have you actually gotten a flag from a Wizard, though? It's, it's at Mum's at the moment. I'll have to bring it over one day and show you. Uh-huh. Right. So are you wizard? seriously asking us to believe what? that you've got a Wizard from a flag? What colour is it, and what the, is the emblem on it? Well, obviously, it's got stars and little, um, you know, sparkly things on it. Right. What was the name I of the Wizard? Completely... <laughs> Okay, um, it's, a, it's a Harry Potter thing. So it, now you know? we vote on whether we approve of this or not. <laughs> You're bullies, yeah, sorry, buddy. sorry, James, we do not believe that you have a flag from a uh, wizard. It's in the realm of reality here. To be fair, I do have a wizard's friend called Merlin, and no one would believe that if I said I, if he because he, he's a costumer. So he, he goes by name. Well, well, I got, I've got, I got a wizard's a mug actually. I've got a wizard's what mug. Who used to say wizard's mug? <laughs> <laughs> so have... who was I the had... longest was it me with 13 or did anyone else have 13 I also had 11. 13 yay we don't lose <laughs> brilliant I was on 12 I keep on, I keep on skating on, on the thin edge though um... <laughs> I'm going to have always a wizard's mug then something like that flag I'm going to have a mug I've got so, a wizard's mug um, 
So what happens? Nah, it's too late. It's too late. With Wizard's flag, you do not get the all the points for it, but you are allowed to cross off three of the letters from your alphabet. So whichever three Ooh, letters me. you think will be most difficult to use later on. So you might, for example, do W and Z. Well, you know the way. The way yeah, I was going to say the way that it reads, you may cross off only three of the letters you used. So if you wanted to yes. use the Z, then you could, yeah. But you, it couldn't. It could not be any three letters. It would have to be three letters that you use in your answer. Oh yes, I meant any of the three letters that you used. Yeah, Thank you for know. clarifying. Why did I build the shed? I've got all those letters already. <laughs> so I only okay. managed to cross off two. Ooh, you're going to build a jacuzzi. That would do what are you better. doing? I've done most of building a shed. The alphabet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... so now. We're going to, for the fourth round. We're going to mix it up Ooh. and introduce a new rule. Ooh. So we're just having one of these cards, which are called. Let me double check the actual name of them. Um, the bogus card. So basically, what this card is is a card that you may not use, a letter that you may not use at all. Oh. And this is just for this one round. So I'm going to look at the line. So the question is, what's one of your hobbies? And the bogus card is T. Say one of your hobbies, but without using the letter T. That's like, so you can't say tabletop gaming. Oh, I got one. Think. Okay. <laughs> I can't play guitar. <laughs> you can play a guitar though. So. <laughs> okay. Hey. Um, Arrakis, though. So, my one of my hobbies, genuinely, I know I made it, but I like to play Wibble. Yeah. So that's like All if right. I said I like to play music as my hobby. It's my career. <laughs> hey, playing Wibble is not my career. Oh, Michelle's got such a good one. Walking quickly. Nice. Yes, it's the only way that has it. Go boot walking. Beach walking, nice. Beat? Did you say beach walking? Beach walking, yes. Nice. How many? What have you got, Tom? Uh, one of my hobbies is jazzercise. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Should it be? <laughs> What's the name of your favorite jazzercise instructor? Yeah, show us, like, link us to one Jazzercise video or show us one Jazzercise DVD before we finish the thing. Um, Otherwise, I'm challenged. Um, uh, I couldn't believe that point because whilst clarifying the rule and saying can't say tabletop gaming, I stupidly put the phrase watching who, which has a T in it. Oh, no! So that means that... Oh, just to clarify, that means that you suffer, that's a foul. So yeah. you're only going to have to pick three of the letters that you used in your answer and you can cross them off, but you don't get any other points. <laughs> you only I get that. to cross off three things from the alphabet. I can't believe it. If I just said who, it would have been fine. <laughs> or Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, it's in Doctor Who. But now Doctor I who decided DVDs. to go watching her. Basically, I got penalised for being guilt for being greedy, even when I wasn't being greedy. Mm. <laughs> what was yours, James? Yeah. Still thinking of one. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, 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 no. So one minute one timer. Minute Did you not hear that? One enough. minute times you've had more than. I've enough. only got food for four letters. I don't know. Right. <laughs> okay. So if it's less than seven letters long. What happens is you don't get the four points, 
but you get to cross off um, three of the things that three of the letters that you used. So that would be F, O, and D if you've not already crossed them off. Now, okay. mine one, Play Wibble, was 11 letters. Uh, 12. Ooh, Chris, Beach Walking was 12. Yes. Yeah. Walking, walking Quickly walking. must be longer then. Walk yeah, Walking Quickly walking. would be uh, 14. Really? Yeah. Seven, Michelle, seven, so fourteen. Yes. Okay. Good. So Michelle, <laughs> you saved Chris. So Thank Michelle, you. you can only cross off three of the letters that you use from your thing, but you do not um, score your fourteen. Everyone else manages to score. Except for me. <laughs> Are you uh, believing me? Wah, wah. Wah, Sorry. Wah, 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 wah. I cannot believe I did that. I cannot believe I made a big joke about not call, using tabletop gaming, and then I chose a word with a T in it. Okay. Okay, we still like you. So, it's feeling a bit blue. Tom. Yeah. I mean, I am challenging Jazzer size because I don't think you've come up with any <laughs> indication that you actually. You've not given <laughs> us a Jazzer size link. You've not shown hey, us a hey. DVD. The lockdown has led us doing all strange um, things. <laughs> But like, if Tom links us to one of their jazzercise videos, maybe, I would maybe be... stand in there and for half an hour you're doing jazz hands until your arms are really, really strong. And, <laughs> and <laughs> well, it, well, in which case, you, the deaf community would applaud you. In the meantime, I think the jazz hands are going to go. <laughs> Tom, so I'm challenging it, and I'm voting no. How does everyone else vote for Jazzer Size? I wouldn't go like the answer if it was legitimate. If it was legitimate, I mean, buddy. I, mean, I, I would love you to be legitimately into Jazzer Size, but I'm saddened that you are trying to pass yourself off as a Jazzer Size aficionado when you're wow. nothing of the sort. <laughs> I mean, like I said, the lockdown has us all doing strange things. I want things. to say that I've started doing these 10 minute videos of, um, you know, it's really intense. It's 10 minute um, workout solutions. And I'm building up to the point where I'm able to get through it without breaking out to the complete sweat and actually making it through. Because the last one that I did, I had to like kind of do the easy option a couple of times. But today I managed to actually make it all the way through. And so I was like, yeah, really proud. Hmm. Nice. And oh, maybe nice by the end of this, I'll be doing one of them and then doing some additional exercise on top of it. But anyway, the question is, interestingly, what do you do for exercise? Oh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> and the letter that you're not allowed to use is S. So I can't say sleep. Oh. <laughs> what do I do for, for exercise? exercise? Oh boy! So you need to write something that's ideally between seven and fifteen letters long, inclusive. Oh, that's my neck. Don't do that, Jason. Oh. So you've only got a few seconds left to think of your answer, if you've not already done so. Oh dear. Ah, oh, that's a tight time limit, isn't it? My egg shaker. <laughs> So, my answer was, and I've just been talking about it, workout vid. Hmm. Because abbreviations... I'm, I'm surprised you didn't say hula hooping. Um, yeah, but I needed a W. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is Zoom jog? Zoom jog. Zoom jog? Oh, I think that's... 
Is that like when you run a mile and you're just jogging in place over Zoom? Oh, you're Let's all on the treadmill. Know what that means. Okay. What did you write, um, Chris? Jogging. Jogging, okay. Just basic jogging, not Zoom jog. Okay, Tom, what... I'm, I'm not quite so um, active. Uh, walking around. You mean you don't do jazzercise? <laughs> yeah, the well, truth comes out. Sorry. You don't have the energy for jogging. So... <laughs> Yeah, the dark secret. Tom does not jazzercise. I'm going to take it all back to week, honest. Okay, Jason, what was your thing? So I don't tend to do ex the most exercise I, I get is with my fingers. I do typing. <laughs> uh -huh. Just seven enough. letters, letters, though. It's not seven letters, no. Well, do you know what that typing. means? You're only going. You're not going to score the six. You're only going to um, perfectly fine. <laughs> to score off three new letters. <laughs> like, and it's one of the letters anyway. I'm good. I got the weird letter yeah. of Y. <laughs> what was yours? I was like, it's at school playing jump ropes. Jump ropes. Oh, good. I believe that, really? I believe that from school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, Michelle says that zoom jog is jogging at speed, zooming down Ooh. hills. Oh right, no, Ooh. not not while video conferencing. Right. I mean, that feels. I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge that. I'm gonna have a quick Google to see if that's a thing. Is I'm going to look it up on Google as well. <laughs> what do you do with the uphills? Because surely you can't keep on going downhill. I mean, it's not coming out. Well, you take a, oh, hang you on, take the zoom bus running. Yeah. Preview. No, no, no. The zoom running. Zoom running is a product. Zoom jogging. I put um, Zoom jog in quotation marks and, but it seemed, hmm. Oh, it's about the technical <laughs> jog. Like, jog seems to be some sort of. Um, yeah, I'm going to challenge that as it, unless it's, of course, a personalized thing, because I remember rolling down hills as a kid. It was too unsafe. But it's and I feel quite, mean, but it doesn't yeah. seem like a real thing. <sighs> I'm really so sorry. You could have had. You walk up the hills, run down. I feel like you might live up in like Derbyshire or Yorkshire or somewhere. Like ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though it might not be a real thing, it I does. Mean, if I'll give it to her. I'm. Can I do that? Wanting to abstain. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go like that. Sorry, okay. sorry, Michelle. <laughs> Side. Ah. So you got one thumb up, Boogie. You had one thumb down, and then you kind of—they were like, "Yeah." So, sorry, Michelle. Zoom jog Aww. is not allowed. We've decided. But and now she's in Shropshire. <laughs> as for the longest word, so um, Zoom jog, you're not allowed that, but you are allowed to take off three of the letters that you used. So you can take off, for example, the Z, J, and. G. G, if those were letters that you hadn't already used in your alphabet. What was the length of everyone else's words? I was Seven. 10. Six, I was nine. 13. Yes! Tom! You are penalised. I'm so happy that it wasn't me. Thank you, Tom, <laughs> for always pushing the boundaries. I just couldn't think of anything shorter. Sorry that. I'm sorry for the length of this yeah, letter. I, I, I like that. Hmm. A likely story. Uh, so. Now we are all on the final round. Right. And I thought we've already had five rounds, haven't we? Yeah, we six, have six, six rounds. Six rounds. Oh, six rounds. So the question is, if you won the lottery, what is something that you would buy? You've gone quiet. You've no sound. Can you um, hear me? Yes, we can now. Yes, now. Um, what question? would you buy if you were winning the lottery? If you had won the lottery, and you cannot use E. Oh. Oh, no. oh boy. Um, okay. All right. Um. 
Oh no! I could not think of anything. I could not think of anything that did not have an E in it, and so I went with a Fab J. <laughs> Fab like, J. Wow. Wow. So you know, imagine like there was a big sparkly J, because you know my affection for the letter J. <laughs> I, I was kind of going to write checks, but um, or like, but basically, imagine like a J all lit up in crystal and lights. That would be a fab J. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Do you want to challenge that right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, come on, votes. One, I think you two, might, three, but I don't think you'd think about it. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give you a few, Bez. Okay, so we've got. Uh, okay, so yeah, I don't get it, but I do get to rub off three things. It's so what short, did anyway. you actually do, Chris? A big pad. A big pad. That's a place to live. Yeah. Oh ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, I believe that. I like that synonym. Nice work. Thank you. Yeah. Tom. Uh, well, what, obviously, what I'd want to buy uh, with my millions, and uh, not because I just wanted to use the letter X, Y, and Q, is uh, <laughs> Oxy Aquaman. I want to uh, hire uh, Jason Momoa for a day to dress up in um, some slinky outfits yeah, and no. parade up and down the room. <laughs> I'm challenging that. Ah. <laughs> uh... So I wouldn't if it was just Jason Momoa, but Oxy Aquaman. It seems a foxy and you just admit, Aquaman. Foxy. No, a foxy, like a sexy uh, Aquaman. And you admitted that you only just wanted to use up the letters. So I have to uh, change that. I mean, I yeah. I could <laughs> see you doing that, but not given that you are in a, a. I mean, a cow. I feel like would Polly not? You might not do it because you might be worried about Polly getting jealous. Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like Jason Momoa uh, parading up and down the living room in slinky clothes? I wouldn't say no. She said she wouldn't say no. <laughs> there we go. In that case, I'm going to vote well, yes. I think <laughs> I'm still going no because you justified it by just saying no. Just okay. I just because I Yeah, so yeah. Lots of oh, on. come on. <laughs> but you weren't that honest. <laughs> <laughs> but you still get to cross off the free letter, so it's yep. all good. <laughs> um, I'm really boring. I would pay off loan. Pay off loans. Oh, yeah. that's, okay. so good. that's good. You soft money. So my student loans. Michelle, if that's I don't good. know if you had something, if you're still there, but James, I'm gonna invest it in something which is gonna be. Priceless and always retain its value. So I'm going to buy some Saxon Thank you. coins. <laughs> some what? Saxon, Saxon coins. Saxon coins. Nice. Saxon coins. You know, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Could be an interesting investment. Uh, uh, I could believe that's that. Just plausible enough. Yeah. A little cheeky, but plausible. And <laughs> well done. Michelle doesn't have an idea, so um, that's totally fair. So now we've reached the end of the game. And so now it's the scoring time. Oh, wait. So first. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Who's the longest? Not counting mine, believe me. Seven. I, I had 10. I had 11. Jason, Aww. you know what happens. You know, oh, if you hadn't been on the time, I'd have had 11. You're well. thing just that time a bit top. too much. Now, if I had just not had the S on the end. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but to be fair, I have multiple student loans. I paid so one off last year. 
one point really? for a letter. So first, so there, the quick way to do it is there's going to be 26 letters. Shall we just subtract two for each letter? That you what? don't have left, rather than yeah. add two for each one that you have. Yeah. Adding is far more easier for me to do. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, it might be worth remembering that you've got twenty-six letters. So one, two. There's oh, three that I didn't use. The D, L, and X, which means that I get twenty-three. So forty-six. I see. Sorry, you just made it sound more complicated than it was. So I scored. 9 plus 9 plus 13 plus 11 plus 10 is 52. Plus 23 letters I've done makes 46. All added up, sorry, is 98 points for me. How many did okay. everyone else get? So you Michelle so... got 80. Nice. 94. Nice. Hmm. I seem to have only managed to actually score on two of the, my rounds because it's <laughs> so believing the... me somehow. I don't know. Yeah, you were doing really up. well at the start, but then your greediness got the better of you. Yeah, I kept on doing long ones. And, so, what was yeah. go on and admit it, Tom? What was your score? 76. Okay. Hang on, I'm still adding up. So, I get the 13, Chris? the 14. 113. Ooh, Ooh nice. 61 oh, points for the words. Gosh. And I used every single letter. Yeah. Nice. Good. Did you say 61? 61 plus 52 for 113. Yeah. That's very nice. And I don't think we're going to see... I got 80. 80. Oh, Michelle, so I got... got... I yep, got forty-two. So... I got forty-two for the. If I'm adding correctly, forty-two for mm -hmm. the letters. Because I, um, because I didn't use five of them. Um, yeah. and then I got a thirteen and fourteen yes. and eleven, um, which just that extra one, the eleven, put me up to eighty. And nice. so we've got um, Tom. We've got a. Fairly big range of scores, 113, 98, 94, 80, and 76. But as Michelle said, Tom, you did win the first game twice. Yeah. So first there is no shame in that. Fair enough. And we are going to, for one final time, because I see there's three people, few people watching. Um, so basically what you need to do, if you want to have a chance of winning a game is to go to the link and tell me what is one of the stickers that I was asking people to vote on. So... I know, I know. I'm... Don't tell everyone. So basically, just to reiterate... Um, How did we tell you the answer? No, people need to tell me. It's People watching need to say, James, you're not allowed to enter. I mean, you're actually. Oh, I want to go and win the prize, oh. No, no I mean, good prize come on, game. James. You've already got Cinnabine Jr. I'm trying to make it sound good, Bez. Come on. <laughs> trying to give some enthusiasm to drum up the thing. Yeah. And, Tom, is that the screen that you wish to share? I'm just just trying to justify my last answer. That is a picture <laughs> of Foxy, Jason Momoa. I mean, Foxy Atkoma. I mean. <laughs> if you um, had said sexy. Aquaman. Yeah, I would say that. So <laughs> just you can't use the A, can you? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. 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 But, yeah. Anyway. These are the six pictures that we are definitely getting. There's two copies of each. There's the cat's a log, which is actually based on someone's cat called Brambles. The cat's ass trophy was somewhat modelled on next door's cat. <laughs> and a lot of other cats. Catch here was not based on any particular cat. Catch went through quite a few iterations. Wasn't sure where, how humanoid it should be. And Pyramid Scheme. That's probably my favourite one. And um, with the little hairless cat in the bottom left. <laughs> but And the cat burglist, as opposed to the cat burgle or the cat burglar. But those are some things. And... Um, if I take that off. I'm surprised I haven't got a catfish card. Catfish. 
Hmm. Yes. Surprised you haven't got a card featuring the name of the game itself. That was surprising that that wasn't in the. There is. The yeah, oh, I mean, is. there's not. There's one in the game. But it's one in the game. game. Because that's that's the ultimate. That's the best card to have when people have lots of points. Uh, lots of yeah, and if you want to go in and check in the possible games to win are in a bind junior. Which do you want to explain this one, Tom? That's Pippa, uh, isn't it? I no, in a bind junior. Oh, okay. oh no, wait, that's not in a bind junior. That's in a bind. Let me find it. <laughs> Sorry, that you're not winning in a bind. Um, there's hardly That's the one where you there. squeak like a or make an animal noises, isn't it? In the Bind Junior. Making yeah. animal yeah. noises. I like that one. That's my favourite. So it's got eight triggered actions, 12 animal noises, two speech modifier, 12 physical restrictions, 21 cards to balance, and it gets harder and harder. You draw a card and you have Archery. to do what it says forever. Archery. You've got um, on the cards from Surprise Terror Games, which is. Even though it, the box doesn't have cellophane around it, this is a brand new thing. Um, sorry, I'm opening that, this box. So the cards inside are still shrink wrapped. Um, so on the cards, if you like hearts, it's or if you like pre crazy eights or presidents or any sort of um, yeah trick taking games, this is a really nice game. It basically splits the things into what is it? Um, the way you deal out the cards, the way you play the cards, and the way you score and your objective. And so it's kind of like, hey, using these cards, you can make up a ridiculous number of trick-taking games. It's almost like that 504. Hmm. And yeah, that's for two to six players. What um, does trick-taking mean? It's when everyone plays a card into the middle of the table and one person wins all the cards like a trick you could compare it to an auction like quite often it's okay the highest card out of all those cards wins or it might be that you need to follow suit and so the person who's managed to follow suit wins the trick now sometimes winning tricks is really good like the classic trick taking game is bridge which has been going for quite a while although it's now technically i think based on contract bridge which was based on auction bridge I get mixed up with the history there, but it's not the original game, which is known as Bridge, which is completely different to the game that is currently known as Bridge, because he retitled the auction or contract Bridge as just calling it Bridge. But anyway, so Bridge, you want to get the tricks, whereas I think Hearts, um, you actually don't want to take the tricks, and it's every heart that you take is negative. And that's a couple of trick-taking games. And finally, if you want to have something really weird with a Battle of the Band style gods playing in that game, this is a game that you might want, The Lords of Rock. And you can win any of those until we have finished seeing something that we are looking forward to. So, Chris, take us away and say something that you are looking forward to in the next couple of days. Well, uh, I am looking forward to the playtesting tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, I'm hoping that my electronic implementations of the games I've made will, will work well. Um, and I, I guess as something I'm going to be focusing on moving forward um, is really making the electronic version of the game um, as simple to learn, as simple to play as the, the physical version is. Hmm. So. And for the playtesting, that's one with the Playtest UK folk, I assume, myself yeah. and Ellie, and the other one is with Gil Hova on Tabletop Simulator. There is that one, yeah. Uh, there's always, and I'm always learning about more, which is great. Uh, blind playtesters will have a thing on Sunday, for example. Uh, so okay. if you're looking to playtest some games, um, that's a new event. They've been doing some that and are more friendly towards Eastern Standard Time. But uh, I think they're trying one for people in different time zones now. So one that's more friendly for Eastern time zones in Europe. Catalog this. So, Leon, just to interrupt you, Chris, I guess that's just you enjoying the name, which is totally fair. And if you want to actually win the chance of winning some of the games, it's... You've got to choose one of the cards, which is not one of the first six, but one that was one of the possible seven. 
Um, oh, Michelle has a lovely thing. I don't know who Bethan is, but apparently they're having a virtual birthday mini festival on Saturday with extended fiddle solos in every set. Wow. Is Bethan a famous person? What's a fiddle solo? Um, like when someone, it's fiddle is a not. Um, Jason, can you explain the difference between fiddle and violin? Are be the same thing, aren't they? Um, not technically. Um, so a violin is more of a classical instrument, and a fiddle is more of a folk instrument. They do come from similar origins, but they kind of diverge, and they're made of different woods, different strings, and they um, they produce a slightly different timbre. I see. I had been misinformed. Um, so Tom, I, what's something that you're looking forward to? Ooh, I haven't got much planned for the next uh, few days, so I'm looking forward to that, really. just uh, Doing nothing is always <laughs> wonderful sometimes. Yeah. I've got a, play -test session, a virtual playtest session on Saturday that I've got to do. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. And is that with... Are Pete we doing a Bez After Dark version anytime soon? <laughs> <laughs> you let uh, me have it says not then, planned <laughs> and we have learned that Bethan is apparently a small punk folk band called Pog based nice. in Brighton oh Bethan is in a oh. small punk folk band called Pog just because okay. I don't want to be out there making the wrong thing about I've fiddle is more traditional of the violin that's what I meant to say because a fiddle came before violin Hence why they're now diff slightly different. So if someone previously was thinking, hey, Jason doesn't know their stuff, you just want to say, yeah, I do actually know I about it. I got the wrong in my brain. <laughs> you just sometimes you mess up with your words. That's totally fair. Everyone does, especially nowadays. And what are you looking forward to, Jason? Um, honestly, it, uh, between now and potentially Tuesday, I'm actually looking forward to a game that um, I've been part of called, um, well, we're called Magical Muse. It's a Mutant and Masterminds game. And I play a a bard, a, a muse called um, Noise, so which stands for no Nova Oliveros Ivanka Zeljua. Um, and it's becoming near the end. I think we've got like five episodes left. So we play like a, little, like a an music based anime. I get to throw my experimental music at, at unsuspecting victims <laughs> in the game. Um, which they all seem to lap up and enjoy a lot more than I thought, which is interesting. Um, but I, I actually, it's a little bit of therapy for me. I've accidentally made this character very autistic. And I, for those no, who don't know, I am autistic myself. Um, and just by pure coincidence, the way the numbers fell and how I started role-playing her, I'll just point out, none of my previous characters had any autistic traits or were autistic this character very definitely is um <laughs> and i've i've the, the the gm and i have have something planned that the players don't the other players don't know which is slightly cruel but also slightly very much in character so i, I wonder where that's going to start <laughs> that does sound like lots of fun and i know how much you enjoy your musical improv oh, it's great i was choosing to do i would or semi-improv Semi I was, I was I was planning to do be the musical a muse of magical muse of Broadway or <laughs> musicals, but someone had already picked that in the group. I was like, oh no, the only one I really know so that I could I could make actual comments about and play it properly is experimental or abstract music. So that's what I went with. <laughs> and James, anything you're looking Hello. forward to in the next couple of days? Um, we're not doing a Bez After Dark thing, is that what we're saying? We're not doing one of those. No, it's just not planned. <laughs> can I do one and then you can just join in? I mean, you can run one for yourself, sure. I mean, I'll happily cool. attend, but I'd like this to be like a family-friendly stream. Okay. Well, in that case, um, yeah, okay. That's what I'm looking forward to. So you are dedicated now to running one, and you're going to... Invites everyone on your WhatsApp group, I guess. Everyone from Essex. Anybody who wants to come along. Or no one. Ooh. If no one wants to come along, I don't mind. I do it myself. I do... Um, <laughs> and that know, does mean a... that then you get to play Chris's wild game. What's that? Oh, yes, we have to do that. We oh, have to yeah. play the... Um, the yeah. and game. Andrew and I had, had the opportunity on Tuesday to have a little mini round of some of the wild cards. And there, some of them were pretty wild. <laughs> 
Yeah, in that case, I think that's got to be please. done. That's got to be done. Um, I am looking forward to the same playtest that um, Chris mentioned. I'm looking forward to starting a morning live stream. I've got my friend Jess, who lives in Thailand, who's a lovely person. And we're going to be chatting tomorrow about board games. And for the first show, I'm going to be seeing some tree thoughts, sharing some highlights of the week, and talking about a game that I was sent nearly a year ago to review at some point. And I said I would do it at some point, so now I'm going to basically blether about it. And any associated ideas that come up and that's going to be a thing that i just start doing every day as a morning routine because i'm going to try to get to morning routine do a bit of exercise then do that and get showered and yeah we'll see how it goes but i'm really looking forward to giving it a try and it's been lovely you know i hope your virtual playtest goes well tom and jason and of course before we go we need to announce the um Winner is drum roll, please. Michelle, oh, yes. So, Michelle, um, if I go back all the way, so enter ah, that's a good that one. musician was one of the cards, but I am sorry to say that. Um, even though Musician might have been your favourite card, it's not going to be the seventh card. The seventh card by popular vote was Catsnap, but we will no. have a vote not at that, some point in the cataclysm. future. Well, it was interesting because out of the four cards, um, if I can find them here... How can you have a sticker pack without the name of the game in the stickers? <laughs> well, Maybe it's a special only. It's what people want. It's what people want to enjoy. I I'm want a Cataclysm card and you want a Musician card. I'm just very grateful that there's a cat ass trophy because when... What am I going to do with that? I am, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if I can and buy so a whole other cat nap which we're going to add. So if you back oh. the sticker pack, you will get two of these, which it is quite cute. I, I wonder how many um, teachers I want to, of secondary I've, school upwards would choose to use the cat trophy. Cataclysm one. I'm sure there was a cataclysm. This is fixed. But it's fixed, if so. we get to 275 stickers sold, there will be another one. If you've not already checked out that thing, now it's too late to kind of get the prize. But check it out anyway. If you want at stickers, feel free to check it out. If does anyone else have... Thank you so much, Michelle, for joining us. It's been great having you with us. Thank you so much. Um, does anyone else have anything that you want to give a quick shout out to? Um, James, you might be doing an after dark thing, but I don't know if I'm going to. Is that going to be an open invite? We'll see how it goes. Yeah, for sure. Why not? Invite anyone you want. Who's obviously and Jason, off the right do you have... As as always, I'm always going to shout out and, and say if you're interested in Dungeons and Dragons and music particularly if you're open to the idea of music that is improvised over a game. So not even I knew, no one knew what it was going to be like until the, till the end, um, head over to adventuresandartists.com or search for A N A S A the letter N A podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, um, podcasts, whatever it's called now. Um, and also Bandcamp, and you'll find lots of episodes. On Bandcamp, you'll find, the, at the moment, the first volume, so the first episode, which is just the music. So none of the, none of the wobble ball from, from all the game, which is just as enjoyable, but now you can focus in on the music. Um, we're also on Twitter, spot, um, Twitter, spot, spot, Twitter Facebook. Um, we, are, we do have an Instagram, but that is actually not active right now because we're not doing any recordings that's mainly for when we're behind the scenes stuff and concerts um so please do support the moment we are raising money for the um one of the local wildlife wildlife centers uh wildwood um which are great great charity um, Did you say so wildwood? Just, wildwood yeah in in canterbury kent yeah that's what we're raising for i'm a member of them well, if you'd like to donate, uh, I mean, the no, I'm, I'm, I'm already a member of that charity. So it's, 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 it's a very good park. It's a very good park. They do very a good work. Mm -hmm. um, and 
Uh, they also make good sound effects for when you LARP. Like there's a LARP group that meets next door nice. at the campsite, and it's great yeah. when you get the howls in the background of the walls. It's brilliant. <laughs> um, or if you're like me and, and was asked to do a scream of a nightmare creature, set off the, all the animals because <laughs> I was I echoed so loudly. So but yeah, no, uh, check check us out. It, it, it's really fun. That if, on the Patreon, if you don't want to support the charity, you can support the project. It's as a well, very good charity. We've got multiple levels. Yeah. So if those who don't know, you can you can split. But you can either do a hundred percent to us, a hundred percent to Wildwood, or you can choose fifty fifty. But there's like three different tiers, and 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 you get to join our Discord community as well, and which which is slowly growing. And Tom, do you have anything that you want to give a shout out to or talk about where people can find you? I know you've got your Twitter, Tom Cauldron, but you're not particularly active. <laughs> well, I'll give a shout out to um, Eastside Projects, who are doing a Twenga, hmm. which is a Japanese Renga, which is a collaborative poetry thing done on Twitter. So it's a Twenga. So I'll just give a shout like out it. to them. Um, nice. Polly's involved with uh, doing it. I was right at the start but i kind of dropped out so but probably keep them doing things so yeah check them out and if you want to um follow me then like if you're watching on youtube then subscribe if you are watching on facebook then follow and you can follow me on twitter at stuff by bez and if you want to email me for some reason email me at stuff by bez at gmail.com and michelle um, just to remind you, because you did win, please get in touch with my Facebook and let me know your address and tell me which of the three games you would like. I know that last time you said that you were quite keen on this. And so unless, honestly, I would still go for this if I were you. But that's my personal opinion. But no, you know, you're not allowed one. You're not allowed a personal opinion. <laughs> you're the host. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> But, um, yeah, Michelle, get in touch with me, give me your address, and I'll send the thing out. It was lovely having you, and thank you, everyone, for watching. And all we've got left to do is to say bye-bye. Farewell. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Farewell. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. And be to say goodbye.